People's Democratic Party gubernatorial candidate for Lagos State, Abdul Aziz Adediran Jando, has said that Lagos would not be rich as it is now without the contributions of the Igbo people in the state. He added that if he wins the 2023 governorship election, he would form the government of Lagos State with the Igbo people in the state. Of course, I'm sure, and I know that uh, APC would not like uh, these statements. Everybody's important, anyway, everybody's important, but some people don't want to uh, take that or to believe that he that he said that everything that has been making the Igbos seem like second class citizens in the state will be eliminated if he becomes the governor. Mm -hmm. That's what I mean, I don't understand. Because even in Nigeria, say, hey, who is a first class, first class citizen? Maybe the politicians and uh, maybe among themselves, but as far as a, an average Nigerian, it's just that say, everybody, oh, no, first, those who feel that they have a self worth, but some people don't have self worth, that's why they are psycho fans all over the place. But generally, I when I hear people say say that hey you get uh, abroad you go to other people's country you're a second class third class even in Nigeria are you a fifth class a certain citizen do they even recognize you do you what what, what can you say you gain I've all, I've always said it what can somebody say I gain being a Nigerian you just I I, I can gain because maybe uh, uh God created me and I'm um, God's child but if you want to go about the country to know who and who is benefiting. When they talk about the dividends of democracy, how many people in the recent, apart from the politicians, they are the ones that will tell you that, uh, oh, the Nigeria, Nigeria has favored them. Because I, I, in got to a time, I always like, look like, look at, uh, anytime there's a independence, celebration and all of that, you know, when we're growing up, I, everybody will be happy, independence, day, but at some point, I'll be just like, this is independence we're just celebrating. It is just for these politicians, though, because they will be happy, no, so independent and part of the government and part of the decision making and what have you. Apart from that, the rest of us, we are gaining nothing. The politicians can come out boldly and beat their chest and say, yes, we are we are, are privileged. We are favored by Nigeria. We are reaping the dividends of democracy. So if a uh, Jando is saying that, uh, oh, uh, these uh, people, the Igbos will not be, not be treated as second class uh, uh, citizen. I think maybe you should have used a, a different statement, but as far as that statement is concerned, it holds no water. Jandor made this known during a recent interview session with Indigo leaders in the place of East Indigo of Ikeja legal, local government area. In the report which was made by Vanguard, he said, Lagos is a very rich state because we cannot be a rich state without Indigo's contributions in Ladipo and as Alaba international markets. So if we are which today it is because of the huge investments and contributions of Igbo community in our state. For us, we appreciate that. He also added that if he wins the election, Igbo market will not be closed under his administration. Speaking further, hmm, he called on the Igbos in the state not to vote for Labour Party presidential candidate Peter Obi in the forthcoming election, adding that a vote for Peter Obi is a vote for the APC. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness! They are not voting because of a uh, um, Obi is an Igbo man. I think the uh, majority of the uh, Igbo people have been voting for APC, uh, PDP. So maybe this time around, it might not really favor you. But if you say it's a vote for APC, I don't really understand. Maybe they mean a different thing that it will just help. Not that they want to vote for APC, but it will help a. Uh, APC in the long run. I don't know whether this statement being made by Jando is a right one or is speaking like a politician normally. Let them go and enrich their Anambra Abina by force. <coughs> mm, Jacquel, for your inner mind, you know that the Igbos are wealth creators. They are they are wealthy in their, in their own place. You think uh, it's only in Lagos? <coughs> this one say they should they are wealthy, they should go to their this thing. No, you know why they will not they will not want to go to their place. You know the reason why. You know. Mm. Even in other communities, they are rich. But Lagos is a special place because the presence of the federal government was there fully. It was really fully loaded. You are, you are in your own place. Why is it that you have not been able to make it in your own place? Go to Anicha, uh, uh, go to Aba, uh, we go to go to Southeast, you think uh, they are folding their hands, you think they are doing a like, work there. An Igbo man is an Igbo man anywhere, anytime, any day, 
doing businesses making money if you now go allow us now give us those things that are exactly that make us to come to lagos provide seaport and the rest and you will see us leave those your governments know and that is why they make sure that everything we make Igbo people to be on their own they will do everything to stop it Hunger. if they come out longer go kill you if you think that uh, yeah, you are doing Igbo uh, an Igbo man a favor if they come out you go you go you go point you travel and see your girl travel around poor and proud yes Mumu of is order are you a Lagosian? Allow Lagosians to make that decision themselves. Try by by God. Do not know that uh, Higbo are all over the world doing business, not only in Lagos. Because they know they come out here. The judge of those Lagosians, they're not, they're not, some of them say they never reach Ogun State. If at all, they never even reach Ogun State. Some of them say one go another place. E? Hmm. You are just one of the lazy agbiros from one south west state claiming to be Lagosians. You know that without Igbo business in Lagos, all this noise about the IGR will not be there. If Lagos state government doubts that they should let an unbiased neutral body take inventory data of who is contributing what in Lagos, lazy agbiros like a UKK will only shut up and will be of praise and we praise Igbo man, uh, businessman in Lagos. The lazy agbiros are harassing Igbos in Lagos because. They don't have an idea of Igbo Umongo's contribution to the development of Lagos and Nigeria. Ask your grandfather how wretched the city was before the Igbos made it a hub. Don't mind, don't mind. Soon you may see it as a dumping refuse anytime the Igbos live here. For them, you self no even know where you come from, Omo Ali. Your people are lazy. If the Igbos leave Lagos eh, for you, you will not be able to maintain it. Ask Rivers State that after the abandoned property saga after the civil war, you people always waste for the crumbs that falls from August table. Your comment shows that eh, you are a local myopic champion. This is the truth that an average Yoruba man does not want to let out of the bag. God bless Jando for acknowledging the truth about the indigo anambra has been here for several years still under development egos leave lagos and go and develop your anambra state simply don't listen to jando it is the time to go back home it is the time to go back home egos are ready anytime to go stop that huh. i like nikon she low what low she okay mm, this one is the speaker but i don't know what's in here for you how developed is your village as to be compared to Igbo's village? Villages, Anambra State is developed by the same Igbo's who are unarguably the greatest contributors in the development of Lagos among the races of the world who are residents in Lagos. Igbo is mighty. Igbo is a country. Igbo is bigger than Nigeria. Put together, just know that we know who we are. Without Igbo, Lagos is dead. Truth be told, there's no much uh, to be said about Lagos in terms of its economic worth as a state without the Igbo. Right from the cradle, when majority of people there had not been born, it has it is an old story that Igbo cannot be sidelined in a recognizing sidelined and in recognizing who is who for Lagos affluence and development chairs. Igbos want to be praised. For wandering all over the nation charity begins at home <laughs> okay have you ever been to Igbo land where in Yoruba land is better than any state in Igbo land hmm? it's back and forth stuff anyway <laughs>